what's there. What's up, my grub lovers? Who ready to get their grub on? You know that I am. It's your boy, Mr. Grub, back again with another video for you guys. And today, I am gonna dive in on some fried chicken. It's been a little while since I had some, and I had a craving for it today. I mean, all day, guys. So, I finally got a chance to get me some. So, you know I ain't gonna waste no time on it. I'm gonna dive right in on it. But I had to tell you guys, you know, about a situation that happened when I went and picked up my food. So, there's a lot going on. I know we we always see a lot going on in the world, man. Right now, it's it's uh, abuse. You see a lot of uh, bullying, uh, you know, homelessness. These are things that are really big right now. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, what I what I've noticed is there's a lot of of homelessness, like more so with younger kids, man. You know what I'm saying? And what they're doing which I understand why is like, you know, you see them buy like food places, gas stations, stuff like that, because, you know, they hoping somebody will come out, man, and, uh, you know, hand them a little money or whatever the case may be. So these are things that, uh, you know, we see all the time. And it's, it's tough to see, especially being a young man myself, seeing young people who, are living in situations like this. You know what I'm saying? It's hurtful because you always want to see people do good, you know? So, it sucks when when you see people struggling and you want to help everybody you know what I'm saying and we know that's the hardest thing is trying to help everybody because you can't help everybody as much as you would like to myself included it's just one of those things that we all aren't in a position to do you know what I'm saying and it sucks man a lot it's hot but it doesn't mean don't do anything you know what I'm saying and my biggest thing is seeing people could do something choose to do nothing because it's not what they what they would expect to give you know what I'm saying so for example somebody come up to you ask you for spare change you might not have you know quarters and stuff like that but you may have a dollar. So, and most people would just be like, oh, I ain't got it, you know? But it doesn't always have to be exactly what they're looking for. Sometimes you can be the blessing, you know what I'm saying? And that's my thing, you know? It's okay to give a little more it's okay to help out you know what I mean and I think that's how a lot of people you know stay blessed man is you know they they, they give more than than, than than it's asked of them to give you know what I'm saying and uh, you know I ran into the situation today where a guy was just like hey man you know he's a young kid man but he was like you know he he was just hungry he didn't even ask for no money So, I asked him, I said, well, you know, you see where I'm at. 
you know, if I'm getting ready to get food, you know, you want some from here. And he was like, well, I'm getting ready to, you know, head over here to meet my girl. Um, is it okay if you just give me the money? You know, and then me and her can eat together. So, I don't really carry a lot of cash on or whatever. But, what I told him is, what I do, I get a big enough meal that you and her can eat together. Because I don't have the cash on me. And that's what I mean. Like, I still say, you know what? I could just be like, no, I ain't got no cash. I ain't got no money. And left it. But my goal was to see was still to see him eat. You know what I mean? So I went ahead and ordered him something to eat. And you know, he waited for it, man. And he was so appreciative. You know, regardless of what he's gonna do with it, that's not that's not my purpose to, to figure out. And I think that's where a lot of people get caught up too is, you know, they start overthinking what they gonna do with the money, you know. Ooh, I'm shaking hot, man. Thing got me sweating. But that's what I mean, overthinking it, man. Like, you know, at the end of the day, whatever they do with it, they do with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, my thing is I give you food because you're hungry. It's simple. I'm not asking you, well, where are you going to eat at? I mean, people you feed, you know, I don't care about that. But that's why I say, you know, that's the difference. When you're just doing something, you know, out of the kindness of your heart. And that's why I want people to understand is that we don't always have what people want us to give. But that doesn't mean we don't have anything. You know what I'm saying? You know, give what you can to help others. Because you could be that person one day. So, it was a great experience for me. I wanted to share that with y'all. So, I'm glad I got a chance to. And I hope, you know, people take this, you know, as a strong outlook on life moving forward. I think it will help a lot of people out. So. I'm always so appreciative. You know, people who rock with me, who support me when they don't have to. You know, I thank you guys. Keep that same mentality, man. I'm telling you, you'll be blessed. You're hearing it first here from your boy. I'm going to go ahead and finish my chicken, though. And I'll get back to you guys another time, man. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. Until next time, it's your boy, Mr. Grub. I'm out.